Centuries ago, Enders the thief stole the pie from the harvest banquet. <laughs> and if there's one thing we must never steal from barbarians, it is dessert. Ever since that night, oh. the ghost of Enders the Thief walks the earth, his cheeks crammed with pie for all eternity. <laughs> Enders, this is like private. Oh, fine. Is your castle's ghost that rude? We don't have a ghost. Oh, oh my gosh, you poor, pathetic, miserable, worthless, uncool thing. What? I'm nothing. No ghost. <laughs> Ugh, could I be a bigger freak? Based on your genetics, I'd say the prospects are terrific. I just found out that we are like the only ones in Udragoth without a ghost. Dinky has one. I uh, must be a ghost because I'm looking at an angel. <laughs> Scroggle has one. Dude. Dead dude. Even that troll girl has one. Thanks for the braids, Captain Greenbeard. Marg! <laughs> Don't mention it, matey. So, if everyone else had the plague, would you want it to? Duh, of course. You guys don't understand what it's like to have to be cool all the time. I mean, how could you? You're not cool. Yep, she makes a good point. Judah, Judah. I need a ghost. Cool people have ghosts and I don't. Ah, unacceptable. I want it and I must have whatever I want. Hey, what I want she's hysterical. Can I, I slap her? I'll tell you wait, we reject the concept of self-control. Her brain's stuck in an I want it spiral. Any second now it'll freeze up. But at once or the heavens. <laughs> Poor sweet baby. That's nice. So how do you get a ghost anyway? Easy. You make one. <laughs> I have a feeling your parents wouldn't approve. Party pooper. Well, we've got to do something to help Candy. <laughs> Why? Because she's our sister. <coughs> because we care about her. <coughs> because once she snaps out of this, she'll never shut up about it. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner! And so, Dave and Feng set out to hire a ghost so that Candy can be cool. We're looking for a ghost. Actually, the term ghost is considered offensive. They prefer post-living. I see. Well... We want someone super scary. But in a non-confrontational way. What do threatens to eat you every night? Well-dressed and witty. With a bloody beard. Fun to play cards with. And missing limbs. A reader. A thinker. Someone who enjoys rainy afternoons. Maybe you should meet some of our go... Um, post-living citizens. Dave and Fang meet the ghost of a Viking who lost his voice in a shouting contest. They meet a ghost doomed to forever roam the earth, searching, searching for a purse to match her shoes. You think it would be easy, but I've looked everywhere. And they meet a former court jester. His squirting flower is fake, but the arrow through his head is real. <laughs> Our Sliderman in Canterville. <laughs> no, wait. They slayed me. Did you meet anyone you liked? We like them all. That's so very nice. Unfortunately, they all hated you. Hated us? Oh, 
yes. Hate it, hate it, hate, 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 hate. Come on, you gotta have someone. They don't even have to be dead. How about just really, really sick? Well, there is one other dead fellow, but we usually save him for people who are completely desperate and pitiful. That's us! Donuts? Candy, meet our castle's new ghost, Lumpsack. Yes, Lumpsack. A warrior sent to the grave by his own troops for being irritating in battle. Lumpsack likes to crack his knuckles. This is gonna be so great. Now I'll be cool for sure. This is Lumpsack's room now. Everyone out. This decor has got to go. Huh? Why does the cat stare at Lumpsack? Ah, Mr. Foofy Tip! No, really, it's it's gonna be great! Alas, it is not so great, for Lumpsack has many unpleasant habits. He enters the bathroom without knocking. Ah! He drinks milk straight from the carton. Ah! He even leaves hair in the shower drain. Ah! But Candy is delighted with her new ghost as he increases her public coolness score. Hey, yeah! Princess Candy has replaced Troll Girl in the number five spot. Uh, I thought braids would be so cool. Okay, here's the deal. The ghost goes. No, here's the deal. The ghost stays. I am very cool and the ghost stays. Did I mention the ghost stays? Lumpsack has an announcement. His girlfriend Kathleen is moving in. Ex-girlfriend. Shrieking Harpy. <laughs> Good one, Lumpy! And she never goes anywhere without her parents. <laughs> Not on the carpet, Frank. And her parents never go anywhere without their favorite band, the Polka Geists. I thought Polka was dead. Nah, it always smelled like that. By the way, filthy living persons, Lumpsack is having a ghost party tonight. We have to do something! No kidding! I've got to get Dinky and She's in over here to see all these ghosts! Who's the coolest girl in the whole wide world? Soon there are more ghosts in the castle than in Limbo itself. Did someone say Limbo? There is ghost dancing. And ghost chocolates. And even a ghost portrait artist. Ah, swine! This pumpkin looks nothing like Lumpsack! If I had talent, I would not have died penniless in a hotel in Paris. And to the ghost, this is just like the cool place to hang out? Oh, she said. Isn't that your ghost over there? Ooh, aren't you there? Don't be jealous. You'll get squinty old person lines. Candy! Yes? No, no, candy! There's nothing ghosts love so dearly as eating candy until we feel profoundly unwell. We must have more candy! <laughs> Not on the carpet, Frank. And them up. What's it gonna take for you to kick these dead creeps out? I can't be cool without ghosts! Nothing could possibly make me kick them out! <laughs> Somebody paint a picture of this! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the heck with being cool. Nobody makes my rear end look big. Party's over. All unloving persons will exit through the nearest wall immediately. Come on, chop chop, scram. You filthy living persons are no fun. Maybe they would be more fun if they weren't living. Yeah, let's get them. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, I know what to do. Let's have a really bad chase sequence. <laughs> Baby Dave, from the grave, come creepy ghosts and spirits. You are such a geek, you scream and shriek, so loud the dead can hear it. You're on the run and it's no fun for anyone to be outdone by scary spooks. What a move! In three to five, if you survive, you'll be alive because of some outrageous fluke. Just don't puke! Davy Dave, who can save you from being devoured? Davy Dave, you behave just like a craven coward. Soon our heroes are at the mercy of the ghosts who close in menacingly and declare... 
Lumpsack has never had so much fun. Woo! You mean you like that? We must do it again sometime. How about next year? Let's see. Today is October 31st. What do you say you come back and haunt us every year on this day? It'll be a new holiday. But what can we call it? Well, we're in the main hall with a bunch of weenies. Hall of weenies? Hall of weenies? We could call it... And thus is born the holiday known as... Arbor Day! Yeah! Come on, everybody. Let's carve pumpkins and eat candy until we feel profoundly unwell. Yeah! <laughs> hey, this could catch on. Did someone say limbo? No! Oh, sorry. As our tale begins, an evil plan is being concocted. I shall create a bathroom that requires coins for operation, and I shall call it the Pay Toilet! <laughs> Sorry, wrong evil plan. Ah, that's the place. Yes, the evil Princess Ermelplotz is evilly concocting an evil plan in her evil castle of evil. A dozen toads' eyes. Five snake brains. A pound of snail slime. Chocolate soda? Ew, that's disgusting. Hi, honey. Up to no good, I hope. I'm going to have revenge on the fool who broke up with me. Dave the Barbarian. Whoa! -ho 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 -ho. No, no, it's... <laughs> Mother, nothing I ever do is bad enough for you. I'm sorry, dear. So what's the evil plan? To make Dave the Barbarian suffer. Suffer! Suffer, I tell you, suffer! In case you were distracted and didn't hear me the first time. Suffer! And yea, at this very moment, Dave is suffering. No! My canapes are ruined! There, there, David, don't cry. I said don't cry! Oh, not even Faffy would eat these. Come, my friends, let us put this tragedy behind us with a solemn moonlit walk. To get corn dogs on a damp night like this, I'll catch my death of rust. What is he expect from me? Always does this. Ah, it would seem tis but you and I, my scaly chum. <laughs> Later, Dave returns home by the light of the full moon, expressing his sorrow over the lost canopies with a melancholy song of grief. I know a funny bunny who likes to hop along, and every day he sings, he wings his funny bunny song. Funny bunny, ha ha ha. Bunny tee <laughs> Meanwhile, Irma Plotz is putting her hideous plan into action. Now strike, my evil minion. Strike! Funny bunny, ha ha ha. Bunny tee -hee -hee. <laughs> Fuzzy funny bunny, one a friend to you and me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, Faffy, it wasn't the ice cream truck. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Next morning, Dave awakes in a horrible puddle of... Milk! Milk! Something bit me. It looks like a mosquito bite. Eh, it doesn't look anything like a mosquito. Or it could be the bite of some horrible monster that will curse you and ruin your life. Now that you mention it, it is kind of mosquito-y. Well, you got two options. You could ignore it, or you can let me heal it with my amazing magic powers. Uh-oh. Not the face! Ignoring it sounds good. And so Dave follows his uncle's wise advice and does nothing. But one month later, when the moon is again full. Uh, uh, ah! Oh, what a terrible dream that. No beast. That was Dave. <coughs> yes, Dave has become that most terrifying of creatures. A were cow. Huh? You know, like a werewolf. Same idea, different animal. I'm afraid Dave is now half man, half cow, all monster. 
And lo, day frightens the people of Udragoth with his horrible moos. Moo! Moo! Aye! Terror stops the night! Day terrifies innocent citizens with his fresh, warm milk. No! I'm lactose intolerant! Moo! Dave attacks innocent fields of grass with bloodthirsty savagery. No! Oh, this is better than I expected. I mean, I have completely humiliated that handsome barbarian. I mean, foolish. Foolish barbarian! Um, whoa, ho, ho, ho. honey, it's. <laughs> and worst of all, Dave Glitters! David! You pick that up, young man cow! Ooh. Mm. Seems there's only one way to cure a wear cow. He has to be bitten by something else. Ah, uh, that's easy. Moo? It's tuna fish. Do you always carry tuna fish with you? Doesn't everyone? <laughs> Behold, the magical effects of the bite begin at once. I thought that bite was supposed to cure him. Well, he ain't a cow anymore, is he? After him! Cross begins yet another reign of terror as Dave prowls through Udragoth. <laughs> fighting with dogs. <laughs> Viciously attacking balls of yarn. <laughs> and tearing up grapes. Bad, bad, bad kitty! Ooh, Thunderbolt! Who's playing? Vandals versus the Ostrogoths. Hot dog! Go, Vandal Glue! Uncle Oswich! You gotta turn Dave back to normal! Okay, okay. Well, if a cat bite turned him into a cat, maybe he needs to be bitten by a person. Don't look at me. I ain't gonna bite him! I get boy germs! Fine, I'll do it. Boy, I'm not putting my lips on that. Jinkies, I must raid the fridge, eat an entire ham, and perform magic incorrectly. I can't help but feel that I've been insulted. And so Udragoth experiences a night of unimaginable horror as Dave is bitten by a hamster. <coughs> an egg beater. Lula. Come back! I have to make a sarcastic remark! And worst of all, a gym teacher. You call that running? Come on, get your butts in gear! Yay, what could be more horrifying than push-ups? Keep your back straight! You look like girls! We are girls. No back talk! You call that a tackle! A whistle! Go for the whistle! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Dave has become the lowest of the low. A gym teacher! Truly, my revenge uh -huh. is complete! Uh -huh. Okay, would you stop that? Do you want something or what? I spent hours slaving over a hot magic cauldron, and I want someone to appreciate how much work I put into this evil curse. My heart bleeds for you, honey. Fools! There is only one way to cure Dave, and your feeble minds will never uncover it. Whoa! <laughs> Shouldn't that be bwa-ha-ha? Other lands, other customs. Time for laps! We've got to foil his fiendish fitness frenzy. Ooh, that's hard to say. That's it! I have a brilliant plan to cure Dave! Your last brilliant plan was let's get a gym teacher to bite him! Don't mess with me, I have a wand! 98! Uh, 99! 100! Uh, my pig leg. Okay, sneak up and give him this. That sounds dangerous. Why do I have to do it? Because Fang's too young and I'm too smart. Oh, right. Hey! <laughs> 110, 111, 100 and... What's this? Holy glutes! I forgot the tongue exercises. Thank you, mysterious no-bringer. All right, you lazy pig lickers! Repeat after me! Geese grow greasy when gutsy guests get gut... Ow! Yes, this inhumanly difficult phrase has caused Dave to bite his tongue. Wait, if he bit himself... That's right, he's become... Aware Dave! Jabbers! And of course, a wear Dave is identical to a non wear Dave Dave. Or even a wear non wear Dave Dave. Ow! You made me sprain my head, meat! 
So you found the cure for... Will you please make him stop doing that? Ha! We foiled your evil plan, you nasty bad lady! What foiled? I just wanted to make Dave look like a dork. Like that's a big challenge? Yay! This piece of driftwood looks just like a pretty donkey. Eeyaw! Eeyaw! Farewell, Dave the Barbarian. I shall return one day to torment you further, you very attractive young man. I mean, you fool. You fool! Whoa! <laughs> Give me that! And so, our hero's problems are at an end. Or are they? <laughs> Pajabbers! What is it? Well, I, uh... I accidentally bit Faffy and... And he... Oh, no. I know a funny bunny who likes to hop along and everything is annoying! No sweat, I can fix it. Fuzzy bunny bunny wanna friend to you and me! It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grubbers Timon and Pumba, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!